Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. I'm about to go balls deep on these banners. God, do they look amazing. It's crazy. I mean, we've got the news for all these new units. So we'll start off with the Great Cyber. And uh, it is going to be, looks to be a summonable unit along with the Domino unit. And yeah, I mean, this is going to be a very, very hyped up year in I mean, look at these guys. They just look amazing. And Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku. That uh, transforms into Super Saiyan 3. I mean, it's going to be tremendously hyped up. We got the classic transformation. Yeah, there we go. Let's take a look at Gura and Majimidia. So this guy finally got uh, a probably good summable card. I know there's been a free-to-play version of it. There we go, Majimidia. I mean, I don't know. I don't know which one I'm going to go after. I mean, we'll talk about the skill sets here in a second, but I do really want this guy to go. This is straight up the anime now, it's, it's crazy. Alright, let's, let's do the super attack. Yeah, this is gonna be a very good period. So this is the uh, free-to-play Great Saiyaman, by the way. Uh, it does transform mid battle, which is uh, what I heard uh, in game when we're v jump scan when it was announced. And then there is also a free-to-play Spokovich unit. Uh, it is uh, an SSR unit as well, with a Dokkan Awaken. Alright, so, with all that being said, let's talk about the units. I mean, yeah, it's going to be very, very nice. So if we go over to the uh, Super Saiyan 2 Angel Goku, it looks like a super intelligence type. So, uh, in terms of the uh, leader skills, it looks like it's going to be Other World Warriors uh, category, key plus 3 HP, attack and defense, increase of 170%. And then uh, Super Saiyan 3 category gets key plus 3 HP attack and defense increase of 150%. Along with that, we've got uh, the following links. Looks like Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, uh, Golden Warrior, Kamehameha, Prepare for Battle. Um, what is this one? Butchigiru no Pao. It's like the uh, Supreme Power or something that some of these units have. Um, and then Fierce Battle. And in terms of the passive skill itself, looks like attack and defense increase of 100%. And then uh, the greater HP, the higher the HP levels, defense up, up to maximum of 60%. And then the lesser in HP levels, attack increased up to 60%. Um, and then uh, if you collect three or more uh, key spheres, attack and defense increase of 30% and then uh, fulfills you know transformation after fulfilling criteria uh, let's talk about the category so a lot of categories here it looks like other world warriors is that new category Majin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, Resurrected Warrior, Super Saiyan 2, um, Transformation Boost and then Super Saiyan 3 for the super attack you're looking at uh, cause uh, great or uh, increases attack for one turn, raises attack for one turn, and causes immense damage. Yeah, that's pretty much the deal with that. And then for the transformation criteria, uh, starting from the third turn of battle, um, when there is 
one one enemy and HP is 80% or above. So very good uh, transformation requirement. They definitely did make a lot of adjustments uh, lately in terms of not restricting it as much. And let's take a look at this beast right here. So with the um, updated uh, transformation, the links do change a little bit. Genkai Okoyukta Sugata, it's, it's something like uh, Limit breaking form, I guess, is what the direct translation is. I don't, I don't remember exactly which link skill that is in the the English name, but uh, the other change looks like all uh, over in a flash is also uh, another link skill that does activate upon transforming to Super Saiyan three, and then for the passive skill, attack and defense increase of 120 percent. Uh, the greater the HP levels, defense up up to 77 percent, and then the lesser in HP levels, attack increase up to 77 uh, percent. And then if you obtain three or more key, um, activates uh, evasion uh, uh, percentages by 33 percent and then attack and defense increase of 33 percent when attacking and then if you obtain key spheres six or more key spheres um effectively attack against all types so very very good skill sets there looks like in terms of the uh, super attack it looks like uh, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes immense damage so yeah this guy's gonna be uh, pretty fantastic and uh, looking forward to potentially pulling this guy Again, the debate is, the dilemma really is which one to go with. Okay, let's go on to the Majin Vegeta unit. This guy is going to be a... Um, so it starts off, what's interesting, it starts off as a Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta unit. Uh, it is a super tech type, so it's not going to be an extreme, even though it's going to uh, transform into Majin Vegeta. But what's interesting is after the transformation, it does change into an extreme tech type. So it... It changes uh, classes based on the uh, transformation. So again, Super Tech starting off changes over to Extreme Tech after transformation. The leader skill is a Super Saiyan 2 category key plus 3 HP attack and defense increase of 170%. And then Resurrected Warriors category key plus 3 HP attack and defense increase of 150%. So we are getting two new categories introduced. Uh, one being the Otherworld Warriors and uh, this one being the Super Saiyan 2 category. So in terms of links, you've got uh, Saiyan Warrior Race, um, Super Saiyan, I think it's Saiyan Pride, uh, Royal Lineage, Prepare for Battle, again, but Shigeru no Power is, I think, like Supreme Power or something like that, uh, and then Fierce Battle. In terms of the passive skill, you've got Attack and Defense increase of 100%, similar to the Goku unit. Uh, the greater HP levels, attack increases 60%, up to 60%, and then uh, the lesser in HP, uh, the higher the defense goes up, up to 60%. So it's pretty much inverted to the uh, Goku unit in terms of like having higher HP levels versus lower HP levels. And then uh, if you obtain three or more key spheres uh, when attacking, attack and defense increase to 30%. And then once fulfilling the criteria, uh, basically become the uh, Majin, Majin form. In terms of categories, you've got Super Saiyan 2, uh, Majin Buu Saga, Pure Saiyans, Vegeta's Family, Rivals, Resurrected Warriors, and Transformation Boost. And then for the Super Attack, pretty much similar to Goku, just slightly different. Raises its, raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage. Alright, and then for the Transformation itself, it's uh, beginning from the third turn from the start of battle. If there is one enemy... Okay, so let's correct this. Um, Beginning from the third turn from the start of battle, Teki ga ittai de Teki no HP 80% ijo no So, it's not basically your HP levels have to be over 80% or above. It's basically when you're facing only one enemy and their HP level is 80% or above. So that is the condition and it's the same for the Goku unit. It's a correction on the Goku part as well. <clears throat> it's not necessarily the team HP having to be 80% or above. It has to be the enemy's HP has to be 80% or above. So like, let's say you finish off a battle and then you start a new one, you know, their HP level is gonna be pretty much full. So those are gonna be situations where uh, you're gonna be able to transform. Plus like, you have to wait at least three turns anyway. So that's probably going to be the general uh, structure with that. All right, so one, moving on to the uh, Majin form, let's talk about uh, this version. So 
Again, uh, slight differences in the link skill uh, after the transformation into Majin Vegeta. It does have the over in a flash link skill updated. Uh, in terms of the passive, it does slightly change. Attack and defense increase of 120%. Uh, the greater the HP levels, the higher the attack increase up to 77%. The lesser the HP remaining, the higher the defensive boost up to 77%. And then if you obtain three or more key spheres, um, effectively attack against all types and then if you collect six or more key, key spheres uh, effectively guard against all types so that is going to be very interesting where if you at least obtain six or more key you're going to not only effectively attack against all types you're going to be effectively guarding <coughs> against all <coughs> excuse me effectively guarding against all types as well now for the super attack it is going to be updated again uh, greatly uh, raises defense for one turn and causes immense damage along with that high chance to stun the enemy so Majin Vegeta is going to be very very good and it's a dilemma because I love both units a lot so it's it's gonna be one of those situations where <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do honestly so we'll go from there uh, let's take a look at the Great Saiyaman so it is a uh, Great Saiyaman Super Saiyan so that'll be the official name for that uh, looks like a super strength type and uh, let's take a look. So leader skill is Hybrid Sands category, key plus three, HP attack and defense increase of 120%. So this will be a good uh, secondary lead for Hybrid Sands, I guess. Um, in terms of links, I think it is Brainiac, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, uh, Hero of Justice, I think is that one. And then again, Butchigito and Power, I think it's like Supreme Power or something like that. Fierce Battle. And then categories are Majin Buu Saga, Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, uh, Siblings Bond, Kamehameha, and Super Saiyan. For the passive skill, which is actually pretty good. It seems like attack and defense increase of 120%. And then, uh, let's see. Kogeki shita teki no hisatsu wazo koukaku risu de nitan fujiru. So, uh, attacked enemies have a high chance of having their super attacks uh, sealed for two turns and then uh, let's see Majin Buu Saga category um, super type allies get key plus two and attack and defense increase to 30 percent that looks to be what I'm reading here and then for the super attack uh, looks like uh, raises attack and causes supreme damage and uh, greatly lowers defense so pretty nice skill set for that unit as well all right, moving on, let's go to the uh, last one. Um, so this is going to be the Dabra unit. Looks like it's an extreme physical type unit. This one is a Majin Buu Saga category lead, key plus three, HP attack and defense, increase of 120%. Uh, the links, this one is like always hard to figure out because they're pretty obscure ones. Um, Zankyo, I think, is, uh, I think it was Brutal Beatdown. Chu Kishin is, uh, I can't quite remember what that was. Uh, Majutsu no Tsukaita is like, um, uh, what is it? A lot of the Majin Buu and like related units have this link skills. Basically, like the um, uh, user of uh, like evil powers or Majin powers or whatever it was, and then. Majin Fukatsukeikaku, I think, is like the Majin Resurrection Plan. Uh, Akumu is Nightmare, Kyofuto Desuko is Fear and Faith, and then uh, finally you have Fierce Battle. So three categories for this guy, Majin Buu Saga, uh, Siblings Bond, and then Conquest of Terror. Uh, in terms of the passive skill, you've got Attack and Defense increase 120%, and then similar to the uh, Gohan unit, but different skill sets, uh, attacked enemies have a medium chance of being stunned for two turns and then Majin Buu Sa Saga category extreme type allies get key plus two eight attack and defense increase of 30 percent all right um looks like for the super attack it's going to be uh raises defense and then causes supreme damage and also greatly lowers uh defense so pretty nice skill sets overall but Again, there's also going to be a free-to-play Spopovich uh, unit available in the game as well, but outside of that, this is going to be a very uh, hyped-up period, so hopefully uh, we have a lot to look forward to, and uh, hopefully you guys found the uh, uh, translations helpful, and as always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys later.